Hi everyone, it's Eddie here. Welcome back to my channel. And despite having a throbbing headache, I decided I need to get on and um, show you some stuff I've been working on. And uh, I was cleaning up some stuff yesterday and came across some, um, I guess you call it like, I was testing um, different things out on, on mixed media paper. Um, like I was testing out uh, infusions, um, you know, some other stuff. And then here I just, um, I think these are sprays. I don't know. Um, here I have um, sprays with um, iron oxide stamping um, that I sprayed water on. And these are gel prints, old gel prints that um, I had put on. I backed with some cardstock or coffee dyed paper, um, but I really haven't done anything with them other than that. So maybe I could finish those up. Um, these are just some other things I thought I could work on. Um, here's some more of those tags, or actually it's mixed media paper that has um, stamping and spray inks on them. Um, and the stamping is with the iron oxide um, ink. And then these are some other um, experiments that I was playing around with. And I don't want it to let it go to waste, so I figured we could, you know, do something with it and have a little, you know, creative afternoon or creative morning. It's morning here still, I think. <laughs> I've been up since, like, way early, so it's very, um, it's almost lunchtime for me. But I got a big uh, pouch here full of scraps. And a lot of these are from gel prints, um, whether they be on um, paper or tissue. Um, and then I'm sure there's other stuff in here too. Um, but it's mostly gel prints. And there's even some, look at that, um, pattern making paper, you know, that you get for for making clothes and stuff. Uh, so I got those. So I'm just gonna, you know, play around, nothing fancy. And I'll try to explain as best I can what I'm doing. Um, so here we go. Let me show you the ones I did yesterday. So I started working on some yesterday. Um, and I was like, I need to film this. Why didn't I, you know, turn the camera on? Well, that's because I was watching um, PM Artist Studios live stream and not um, thinking because I was just so focused on their, their live stream because they're too hilarious. Um, so let's see, this one just um, had um, this stuff on it and then it's got mica spray on it too. Um, and then I added this strip of a gel print, which was actually like a brayer off. It was a clean off sheet. And I took this out, got that on there, and then a piece of uh, book page that I've inked. Let's see, nothing else. This one, similar. This is actually something I printed out on coffee dyed paper. Um, and I glued that on there. And it was mostly, this card, this piece was mostly blank anyway. And there was some writing at the top or at the bottom of the paper that I had done in pencil, just like some notes. So I did my best to erase those, but um, you could still see it. So I just covered it up with that and then added a stamp of a moth. And this one is cool. This one has mica spray on it as well. And this is, um, I believe is dilutions I used. Could have been spray or dilutions. I uh, Honestly, I can't remember. Um, just added some book page so that, you know, still needs some work. And this one, um, same thing, you know, it's all from the same large sheet. And um, I thought this little piece of birds, bird print, <laughs> I said print, um, I thought went really well with the colors that are already there. And then this one, all I did to this one was use a um, stamp from PM Artist Studio. Let's see if I can get my hand on one. It's these. I want to say they're Art Deco stamps, but um, they're available at PM Artist Studio. They come in a set of four. And they're, they're foam stamps, and they're a lot of fun. 
um, and I just did them in two different colors here to pull out the coloring in the back. And I even notched up the top, so almost almost there. This one is, um, all I did so far was add two strips of um, gel print that I thought worked well with that. This one was fun. Um, I had this gel print, or it was a Brayer offshoot actually, with the star design on it. And the stars were from a stencil. But I also have the stars in a stamp. So I use that to add more stars to the rest of the tag. And on this one, this was fun. Um, this one was mainly this bluish color running down the center. And all I did was I stamped on it and then I added pieces of this gel print that's on carnival tissue and just glued it down in different spots. And I even wrapped some around there. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, let's just get started with something here. We'll do some stuff. I, I pulled out some stencil butter. I pulled out modeling paste. I've got gesso. Um, I got all my paints. I got my sprays, glue, stamps, scraps, all kinds of stuff. So let's see. Let's play with these two here. Um, I'm just gonna dig through here, see what I can find. Right away, I see some orange and some yellow. This would actually be kind of fun. This has, I don't know if you can tell, but this has a um, print of a stencil that is a, um, a portrait. So it's someone's face and, you know, the top of their, their, their chest here. So it's like a portrait. Um, and this is the daisies of... Uh, stencil. Don't need that. Maybe we could add some of this on here. We'll start with this one. Now, um, carnival tissue is not the easiest to rip, um, but if you can find the right spot, it'll rip for you well enough. So this is the wrong way rip and see how it's all jaggedy. Now if I were to go this way, going with the grain, rips nice and smoothly. So just keep that in mind when you're playing with your, your tissue. So what if we put this part at the bottom and we can put maybe this up here, get rid of some of this. And, and a good tip is to hold your fingers close, right? When you're ripping and just do little by little and go around the area that you want to um, remove or, you know, rip out. So maybe we could do that. Or this way. No, I think this way would be better. And what I do is I just slap some glue on there. Just regular, regular old glue stick. I should get some paper under here so I don't muck up this mat right away. Just lay the tissue down and smooth it all out. So I think this is far enough down, right? Get some under here. And then flip it over and I can just trim this extra off. Those scissors need to be cleaned. 
keep forgetting to get acetone when I do my shopping. That's the best stuff to clean your scissors with. Get the, the glue off. All right. So that actually works really well. And you see how the tissue just kind of melts away into the background there. I love that. There's one. And what can we add to this one? I'm going to do the blue. The blue green here. Yeah. So I'm just going to carefully tear around this one. Because why not? Give myself a little more. There we go. I decided to do this because I know that I often tend to decorate tags um, just, you know, without the camera on and just kind of watching TV or something or listening to music. And um, I always forget to bring y'all on the journey. So I said, not this time. We, we got to get, uh, I got to get something out there. So you can see how I do stuff. And this isn't fancy, this is just an Avery glue stick, but it works really well. Smooth out that wrinkle. And I think, do we need some more glue under here? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. And I may not finish all of these in, in one video, but you get the idea of, of how I approach decorating my tags. Um, to play with some of my cool art supplies and some things may not have enough time to dry in this video because I'm going to try and do this without much editing make my life a little simpler today that's cool I like that okay so we've got those two <clears throat> Now let's go on here. I got these two too. These are also in that from that same strip. Now here's something I wanted to show you. So sometimes when you cut um, papers that are thicker, like on your slicer and stuff, you get this little rough edge. Just take your sanding block, go across it, and that will smooth that out for you. Should we do one of these two? Look at my pouch of fun here. I do like this blue with that orange. So maybe on here, do some of this. So I'm gonna just glue this up to where I want it glued and then put the tissue over it. And 
trim off the excess. Do have something to smooth. Here we go. My little card. I'll use that to smooth, smooth out stuff that I glue. Come on. There we go. This might be a little crooked, but you know, I'm all good with that. Okay. Well, let's trim her up. This went down in here, so see if I can tear this carefully and not rip up what I already put down. Hey, not bad. That actually looks really good. Some of that orange came through um, in between the bricks there. Very cool. Let me trim this down a little bit more. Now, I'm not throwing these away. I put everything back in here until, you know, I know for sure I'm not going to use it. Hmm, what's this? A little bit of... Huh. Perhaps we could use this here. And I think this is the cheapo tissue. Yep, yeah, that's the cheapo tissue. So that'll rip really easily. But yeah, let's put this on here. I'm gonna take this little bit off. That. Up here. Just trying to get rid of like the pointy bits that are like super sharp, you know? And then we lay this down. Actually, I might just glue on the tissue. Oops, this one gonna be a little wrinkly. Smooth out most of it. And I'm just gonna wrap this plain tissue on the other side here. Cause I already glued it and I don't want to muck up my scissors any further with that with the glue. I see a little bit that needs sanding. Well, that's a cool piece on there. I like that. All right, so got four done. Well, not done, but started, right? Like some of these that I already started yesterday, they're not all done yet, but you know. Just get them started. How about this one? This has some of that too. position it this way so that would be the top I'm, I'm trying to keep in mind like where I'm gonna snip the um, the corners here to make it a tag so I try to keep that in mind when I'm adding stuff to here now this is already dark so what can we 
put on here? I'm, I'm looking at my, my multimedia stuff. I think it may be. I've got this here. This is a, um, a strip from PM Artist. It's the um, Celtic Knot Collection. And this comes with the Celtic Knot Mandalas. And they are, I believe it's three mandalas, three sizes. And then you get this little strip to go with it. And these are great for ATCs and tags and, you know, your smaller stuff. So maybe... How do we want it? You know what? I'm going to put it on this side. Get some stencil, um, some modeling paste here. This is light and fluffy modeling paste from the Crafters Workshop, which is really good. And your best bet is to start in one direction and keep going that way. And it's okay if you don't get every single spot filled in, because that kind of adds to the interest too. I mean, this one I think I got pretty good coverage, but we shall see. Whoa, okay, that came out really good. See the um, the lift on that is pretty good. All right, so that can get set aside to dry. It can go dry rather quickly. That modeling paste dries rather quickly, so we should be able to play with it later. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go this way, and I'm gonna add more texture paste on this side. Now, with your texture paste and stencils, especially your Yupo stencils, which is what I use mainly, you want to um, wash them immediately after you use them, because if you let this stuff dry on there, it will harden up and you will ruin your stencil. You don't want that. Now, I see some bumpy bits in here because I'm not very good at putting stuff or cleaning up my jar. Let's see. Wonderful. All right, very good. Let me get some of this off of here. some left behind so I can save that and I can use that for something else in the future. Now I use, I have a little container here with water that I'm going to get and um, drop that little guy in so I don't ruin it. So yeah these came out pretty good. This one's a little thinner. I didn't use as much on this one. So you see the difference when you you have enough of your paste it fills it out really well but hey either way I think they're pretty good so let me set those to the side and let those uh, dry move on to some other stuff let's do some texture paste on these little guys that would be fun. And let's see, you know what I have? I've got this wonky nap mask I'm gonna use. And we'll put some like, a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, where's that little tool? Here it is. Stir this a little bit, make sure it's nice and smooth. And just come in and just randomly 
replace some paste. Just like that. Cool. See, that changes it up so much. Just that simple technique there, that simple addition of the, the texture paste. And I'm going to get another card here and clean this up. Just whatever's left on here will go on this tag. break this I broke it well like you didn't hear it but it I could feel it it just did bent all right that's okay they're plastic anyway I didn't pay that much this one's all over that's cool all right get you in the bath Scrape this up. Okay, oh, here we are. I'm not putting that back in the jar. It's a little kind of couple of dry bits in there. And that's that's why I get those lumps that I do is I don't take care of my stuff. I'm just cleaning up the edges here. Isn't that funny? This has some of that wonky net, wonky um, net on here from gel printing. That's cool. All right, you gotta move because I need you to dry away. Okay. What's the next, eh? What's the next? Got some blue on here with the red. some stamp going on here and then maybe we can emboss um we'll do some embossing on here let's do a b how about a b and i do need my embossing stuff it's right here yep and then uh, we'll call it um should we go platinum not platinum um like a goldish, yeah, it is platinum. It's liquid platinum. I have this reddish one. This, I believe, is cranberry. I have this sort of like greenish, light blue. darker than that last one. Let's do this one here. I like that one. And I got my embossing ink. Plug in my gun, my heat gun. Okay. Get that ready to 
to go. Just the position we want. You know what? I think we're going to do it this way. Yeah. And I'll bring the B at an angle, maybe, so that it looks like it's coming onto the page, right? So maybe something like this. Oh, see, this already had ink on it, and that just activated it. <laughs> that is too funny. Those foam stamps do hold ink very well. But isn't that funny? How it held all that ink for so long, and I haven't used that stamp in a little bit. Okay, I like that color. Put this stuff away. And then I can heat that sucker up. These powders were gifted to me, so some of them I don't even have names, like they just came in these little bottles or these jars, so I don't have the exact name of the colors um, or the brand, so I don't know, but it's like a pale teal maybe. Oh, here you go. I was looking for it. All right. Heat gun. Doesn't want to work. I like that. Very nice. I right, let that dry. It's a little warm. Um, we could do embossing on this one too. Or here, let me get my embossing pen. And then we need a color. What color do we want? We could just do a clear one. draw around um, the petals here. Outline the center. going to be filled in perfectly. I'm just trying to get um, sort of an outline almost. And uh, okay, that should be enough. Goo and duster duster. may have missed a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna just roll with it here. Oh, 
Okay. So I guess you could call these multimedia or mixed media tags because they have all sorts of stuff on them from, you know, your infusion inks, colored stains, they have gel print on them, they have stamping, they have um, spray, distress sprays, embossing. We've got texture paste on some, so yeah. Mixed media tags. I don't think I got it all. I did. That is kind of cool, actually. will be the top. Get that ragged edge off the bottom. Look through my pouch of scraps and see what I can find. If I had a bigger desk, I would dump this all out so you could see everything and kind of see what I'm seeing. But it's non possible today. Cheapo tissue just doesn't rip the way you want it to. Um, and this is something I, I, I do when I'm gel printing is um, I have a, a cleanup sheet of tissue, as you've probably seen me use, or um, my brayer off sheet. And I save those because oftentimes you'll get a cool design on it and or some, you know, really um, interesting color combos that will help you out and um, serve you well. So... Don't turn your nose up at that stuff. I'm gonna put this on here. I'm gonna use some matte medium. Do I have my medium out? I don't. And why don't I? 
gel medium. So this is going to cover most of this tag. So I'm just going to cover the entire tag with the gel medium. This is also from the Crafters Workshop. Um, I get them on Amazon. And then let's carefully put this paper on here. And then go over it again with more medium and this should hopefully when it dries you should be able to see more of the tack and coming in you know the the coloring from the back that's usually how it works but you know never know So hopefully as that dries, you'll be able to see more and more of the background coming through. Make sure these edges are down. Come on. We shall see. Set that over there. Uh, let's see how this is doing. Okay, these are dry. I think what I'm going to do with these is use them on the gel plate and get some um, color on there. Use this as a brayer off sheet. Okay. The brayer. I should need a small plate. There we go. So, okay, Daisy. So what color can we do on here to make this pop? I want something transparent. And I want something that's not going to kill this, the coloring back here. Let's see. No, no, no. Maybe try some of this pink flash from uh, Color Shift from Folk Art. We'll try it. Let's see what happens. Shouldn't need too much. Okay, not bad. 
that really enhance the um, coloring in the back. Let me go to the side and get some more of that. Some at the top here. That's pretty cool. Just trying to pick up a little bit more. And you see it leaves behind the imprint of the texture paste. So if I do this, you can see it left that design behind. I put a little more paint here. Let me see. That's pretty dry anyway. So let's go ahead and try that with the other one. Put more of uh, that much on there, but try to spread it out as best I can. And then maybe come in with one of these that we did earlier. Get that over here. Two birds, one plate. That's what I'm saying. down there. That's so cool. Look at that. That helped a lot. Let's see if I can get the rest of this up. A little bit more down. Try. And be careful. Sometimes the texture paste uh, may come off if there's a little loose piece. Get that off your gel plate as soon as possible, so you don't create any divots or anything on there. Very nice. There's some left on here. Four more, almost done. Let's clean off this gel plate. All right, so get these to the side. This one here, and there's some yellowish prominent in there. I'm trying to think. Oh, you know what I want to use? Come on. Let's use some of this. Um... Where are you? It's the yellow. Nickel is of yellow, I think it is. Nickel Azo Yellow. This is a fluid acrylic. It is transparent. Start up here. Oh yeah, very nice. And that just enhanced the yellow in the back. It's not so bright, but it still looks really good. All right. And I'm just going to 
this yellow here, and this tag here. Let me see if any of this is left. Some. Okay. Yeah, they're kind of dulled this down a little bit, which is what I wanted. Yes. These, oh, these turned out really good. Another thing you can do, which I probably won't do today, but um, you can come in with colored pencil as well and um, go around the edges, maybe, you know, darken some of the edges, make it stand out a little more, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, a tag isn't just about an image and, and, and a sentiment. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with it and make it really, really interesting and and fun. Um, now this here. What do we have to go with you? So that um, that is my stamp, the Unraveling Squares. That's available at pmartiststudio.com. And maybe. We can do some embossing on there. So this is the larger one. They come in two sizes. They come in a three inch and a four inch. This is a four inch. Um, I have six total designs um, available right now. And if you just look up my name, do a search under the designers list for Eddie Reyes, or just in the search, in the general search, Eddie Reyes, all my designs pop up on one page for you. All right, so let's do a little embossing with that. Let's find a good color. See, there's this color here that might be fun. Or do we want to just go dark? Yeah, I'm going to go with this darker blue. Don't ask me why. I just feel like it'll look good. ink watermark stamp pad this is versa mark by the way i don't know if i showed you that right down the middle that's where we're going Party, party. A uh, piece of paper to clean up would be helpful. This is, this is dry enough. I can use that. So I always open it over a, a sheet of paper because I tend to spill. So. I just want to make sure that I have it on something that I can just scoop it up with and put it right back in its container. This bottom square needs a little more. Okay. Now, another thing you can do when you're embossing is you take a little brush you can come in and clean up some of these edges here. 
just ever so gently go along the edge and remove some of that excess powder. And the angle, the uh, angle brush or shader brush is very good for this. Let's get you back in the pot. Oh boy, Eddie. See, you got stuff in there that you didn't need. of that texture paste but all gone okay did we get it all get a little bit more there say what look at how awesome that looks Love that. Okay. I think we're going to get another one and do another one with that same stamp. Let me see. Okay. Put your pop over here. Let me pop it. Here we are. So let's do this one with some pink or like the cranberry color. Do that one. And then this one can use my um, five circle stamp. On this one and then we'll do the squares on this one we'll just get them all done at once Ooh, crap lunch. let's um i'm just gonna tear this so we'll do this blue on here and we'll do this one with these circles in maybe the cranberry I have pink. Let's do pink. Why not? This is for raised images. Pink. Pastel pink. Why not? This is kind of pastel-y, right? We'll call it our Miami Vice Tags. And I need my other stamp. And on the website, it's called Cinco Circulos which is five circles in Spanish. Um, and I'll, again, they come in a four inch and they come in a uh, three inch. And I'm using the four inch ones today. So let's do these. So I don't muck it up. Let's get this powder all put away. And we have our circles. No, e dos. Let me do this one this way. I think.
think after this, I'm going to stop for a few minutes. I got to clean up some stuff and then I'll come back and finish some of these up. And you know, not all of them will be completely done because some of them still need to get a backing, but you know, we'll get as much done as we can. Yeah, that's gonna look cool. All right, back in the, back in the hole with you. Go this way. And this is um, by. creativebeginnings.com that's the company that makes this particular one okay in case you're all wondering Super shiny, but that's okay. This particular embossing powder. Now you can come back and add more of your embossing ink over what you've already embossed and add more powder if you want. I've done that before, it works, you know, you can do that, but I think these are fine. And let's do our last one here. Oh, look at that melted from the um, from the embossing, uh, from the heat gun. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man, Eddie, you've ruined two of these today. Well, what are you going to do? Okay, look at that. Now, uh, this is a silicone mat that um, can take the heat, and I just put my finger in there. It's okay. Um, so, don't worry about that. Wow, sir, I love these. All right, so I'm gonna go clean up a little bit and I'll be back. All right, so I cleaned up a little bit and um, decided I wanna do um, these two little tags and I'm gonna use these papers I pulled out earlier. Um, to add on to here. So, and then I got this cute little mini stencil. I got this from PM Artist Studio in one of my orders. Um, oftentimes when you place an order with them, they will throw in some um, a freebie or something for you um, just to say thank you. So I've never used it, it's brand new. So I wanna use that today with some of the Sunshine Stencil Butter. Sunshine. Okay. So for this one, I thought I want to put it on this side here. Okay. But I need to rip that. And kind of figure out where I want it. Maybe that much. And I'm just going to kind of rip it a little bit bigger. And then I'll just cut off the excess when I, after I glue it down. And maybe a little inky poo on there. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go dark. And you can rip it the other way so that you don't get that white edge, but yeah, I'm not too worried about that. That, that covers it up nicely. This is, is this coming undone, or is that just my imagination? 
Oh, that was my imagination. All right, let's glue this down. Tissue on my glue. Come on, here we go. I mainly want to cover that white patch that's there because I don't really care for it. Maybe you can just wrap this to the other side. Let's do that. And then all we have to trim is that little corner. Is this all the way in? No. Hang on, hang on. Get in there, come on. Perfect. And this one's fun. It has a lot of texture to it. I think that was just from a lot of layers of paint. <laughs> okay, so this one is a little thinner. This was um, just done on copy paper. And this one, I want to do it on this side here. So I'm going to show you how to rip it so you don't get that white edge. Okay. So you're going to come and pull. You're going to hold it on the right and from the left, pull towards you. And that's going to avoid the white edge. Right? So the other the piece you're ripping off will have the white edge. So let's see. And we'll do that. We don't need to do that for this side because we're trimming that off. It's just going to go flush with the um, the edge of the tag. So I just mainly need to glue this and then put it down. It off. Might need a little glue on that front top part there, the top part. A little glue, yeah. Just a little bit. And then I'll punch another hole in there later. Well, just I'll just punch through that later. Okay, so stencil butcher. This is fun to use. Again, make sure you clean off your stencil um, as soon as you're done using the stencil butter because it will dry hard on there and ruin it. Just get my little container of water here ready. Again, you want to use a palette knife to apply and use enough that it's going to give you a nice lift and you'll see what I mean hopefully if I do this well. It's a smaller stencil eddy so you don't need it much but all right so where do we want to put this here like right there. So you can take your butter and same with the texture paste. Go in one direction, but don't push too hard. Just go over smoothly. Okay. And then 
make sure I lift this up carefully. Ah, I ruined it. It's not terrible, but you see how much lift I got there from not smushing it down. We're doing this one here. Now you see how much is still left in there? So I'm just gonna come in with the, this and clean it off. I'm just cleaning it off on some carnival tissue and that way, um, you know, I can reuse it for something else. All right, let's get this on here. I'll get some butter. Voila, how gorgeous is that? Very cool. And the other one is not perfect, but you know, it's workable. So let me clean this up. Let me just show you where I'm scraping it so you see. See, put it there and then I can always use that little piece of tissue on something else. These are also from um, the Crafters Workshop. So I believe this I got in a set of four. It comes with this golden color, the sunshine. It comes with the sea foam color. It comes with this orange sherbet or tangerine actually. Oops. And this really beautiful green, uh, green pear. And they've got a nice little shine to them. Let's see, I can trim those out and use that on a collage or something or another tag. Yeah, so keep that over there. And this can go in the water bath. away and I'm gonna move those cards because I don't want to knock into them and I mess up my my nice work here I think okay see these are dry those are fun put those over there and there's another one another stencil I want to use and this time we're gonna do a different technique it's gonna be more like a uh, Typical stenciling with, with paint and a sponge. Um, so let's see what tags we want to use. And this is, here's the stencil I want to use. This is um, the Asemic Writing Stencil. Um, again, from PM Artist Studio. And you see this one's well loved. And so that is just some, you know, funky writing. And I'm going to use black paint and sponge it onto one of these tags. Which one? Let's do it on these here. Okay, come on, come on. So, just some black acrylic paint. Just using the Liquitex Mars Black. And I use my gel plate as a palette. That way I don't have to worry about doing too much cleanup. Move those out of the way. So you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. Okay. All right, so let's lay this out. And I'm 
more over here. So just take a little piece of sponge and your paint and sponge away. see if I want to do a second row yeah let's do a second row while we're here all right let's see pretty cool simple but really really I think, um, I don't know the word, but I like it. <laughs> and we'll probably, yeah, that way, okay. You dry over here. Right there. And then maybe we'll use some of the other letters on this one. Basically, we're just mark making, adding some interesting details to, you know, our tag here. Let's get all that paint off of here. And it looks like I'm blacking out the whole tag, but we're just going through the letters and there you go all right i think at this point i'm just going to start um snipping some corners for the ones that don't have that and then i punch a hole in the ones that need a hole all right so this one now we're going to go this way I have this little card here that I made to um, cut my little tags. I'm sorry, to cut, to cut the corners. So I think this is going to finish us up for today. So let's see. We have these lovelies with the Asemic writing on them. And then we have these that I made um, off camera. These with the tissue. And then we embossed, I embossed on uh, over the flower. This one, all we did was add tissue to it. And I think there's a little yellow uh, oxide on there from this tag left over from when we did this. And this has the texture paste on it. 
and the texture paste will stay flexible for you. So you see how easily that moves and it doesn't crack or anything. Um, and then we added a layer of, um, where's that paint? Yellow iron oxide, or not, I'm sorry, no. Yellow azole, nickel azo yellow. I always get that name wrong. That's what we used on here to give it a nice pop of color. Um, this one I made yesterday with the stars and stamps and um, pieces of uh, brayer off paper. That's cool. And then this one I made yesterday too. And my, oh, the B one, that's so cool. So these, these little guys that have um, also texture paste on them. And this, we use the pink flash paint on them to color them up and give them a cool shine. Um, bricks, there we go. If you know, you know. And then these lovelies with my circle um, stamps that are really cool. And then this, these two guys with my unraveling square stamp that we embossed. And it's cool because all the stamping on the back is the same stamp. It's just, you know, with um, oxide inks and um, spray dyes. And all of this is, most of these are on mixed media paper. So they're, they're nice and sturdy and they hold up to a lot. This has mica spray on it and some, um, sprays, some dyes, and stamping. Very cool. This one, you know, it's getting there. This one has a ways to go, but it's a good start, right? And more of these. And this one has a little shine on it already. That was on the tissue already, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then we have this one. And then, I think these are the last ones we did. No, nope, we got two more. These, with the, um, the name of that stencil is the Celtic Knot. And this was um, the strip, Celtic Knot strip, that comes with the mandalas. And that's so cool. And these are the last two. We have the ones that we did the sunshine stencil butter on. This also stays flexible once it dries. This is probably not dry 100%, so I'm not gonna touch it, because I will ruin it. Now this one didn't come out as good, but it's still pretty cool. And then we added, to both of these, I added the strips of um, some gel prints. Okay. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And, uh, um, the headache is, is somewhat gone away. I don't know what it's what it's from, but anywho, um, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the support, all the love, um, all the really positive um, and encouraging comments. Also, the constructive criticism I get from you guys, I really appreciate it, and, and I do, um, I do mean that, you know. Um, so I will see you very soon, hopefully. Talk to you later. Don't forget to hit like and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thanks so much. Bye, everyone.